What's up, Gemini? This is Soul. And Gemini, we're going to look at uh, February 2024 when it comes to love and romance, relationships. Gemini, I hope all is well. Um, I do want to wish all the Geminis who celebrate Valentine's Day a very happy Valentine's Day. All right, so Gemini, I'm using the Victoria Romantic Tarot to deliver your messages, complimenting your reading, your general reading with the messages of Love Oracle Deck and also throwing some cards from the Romance Angels Oracle deck as well. All right, so let's give it a good shuffle here. Uh, rem remember, there's two energies in here, right? Well, double cards, I should say. So if you receive any of the two, it's double the strength of that energy. Anyway, let's see what's coming up for Gemini and the twins when it comes to love, romance, and relationship. And of course, this is for... Uh, singles, couples, uh, Venus signs, rising signs, uh, moon sign. I'm Gemini Moon. All right, energies for Gemini. What's coming up for my twins? What can they expect when it comes to these relationships in the month of February 2024? Energies for Gemini. Ooh, okay. All right, let's begin, Gemini. First message, we're going to start off with the major arcana, the hangman. This is just um, things hanging in the balance, of course, you know, <laughs> when it comes to your relationship. Maybe there's a relationship that you're still waiting um, to either enter into, make some sort of changes. Um, there's no rush. The hangman usually comes through. Just as a reminder not to rush through anything when it comes to decisions or actions, okay? Following that hangman, we have the temperance, major arcana, okay? So restoration, peace, balance, love, relationships. Um, just staying focused on love and relationships, not incorporating any other areas of your life. So this is about you having to restore some sort of balance, some sort of uh, harmony, peace, love. It does represent our relationship, so that's a good thing. So it's a very positive card here, okay? So you can expect some sort of balance or restoration coming back to you in the month of February. Now we have the Seven of Cups. This is almost uh, delightful to receive <laughs> in a love reading because this is the card that represents deep emotions, right? So you could be expressing yourself um, in a deep emotional way towards your current partner or if there's some you know, new partnership that takes place. They could be expressing their energies all towards you as well. For the singles, however, this uh, Seven of Cups represents options. So there are options, people for you to meet, possibly in the month of February. A lot of the Seven of Cups energy could be for those Gemini, specifically on Valentine's Day. Up next now, we have the moon. Okay. All right. Secrets and revelations. Hmm. A greater depth of emotions in terms of expressing. This card usually uh, I refer to as, you know, someone possibly stating or it could be you stating to the person that, you know, you're falling in love or you're in love with this person, right? Pay attention to your intuition. The moon is here to help guide you through all of those um you know, decisions or actions related to your relationships, making sure that you are trying to maintain a balance of emotional energy here as well in the month of February, uh, Gemini, because this moon can be tricky at times, you know, it can send our emotional state up too high or it can send our emotional state down too low. All right. Just trust the process of your uh, gut feelings and the voices that you hear, that's your intuition. You always have to go with those prompts. Also, the Seven of Cups is also, too, about intuition, too. So, you know, you have options. So make sure you're paying attention to, um, you know, any of those prompts that you may get. All right, so looking good so far here, Gemini, and also, to a cycle of energy. With the moon, a cycle of energy is going to be phasing out. Uh, a new cycle is about to open up. And this revelations things no longer hidden could be involved in any types of likes or crushing energy secrets becoming you know to the forefront then we have the four of cups oh my gosh all right so you have the four cups in your spread 
And this is the card of socializing. This is a card of, um, you know, of course, if you're already partner, enter, you know, entertaining each other's uh, energies here on an equal basis, uh, same number of cups or equal number of cups, I should say. So what you give is what you're going to get back. Also, I regard this Four of Cups as, um, since it is the socializing card, it could be double dating, of course, spending that quality time with your significant other. And, you know, um, can't go without saying, you know, you could be invited out um, to a social setting. If you are single, then there may be somebody who um, may cross your path or it could be a romantic link. If you're, you know, already engaged in a relationship, you're just going out, partying, and having a good time. Could be in the form of celebrating, again, Valentine's Day. What's up next is the King of Wands. All right, so you're attracting some energy here towards you. The King is always focused on someone, normally going after whatever they are focused on or whomever they're focused on. This card is uh, regarded as a great deal of uh, passion, intensity, definitely sexual in energy and sexual expression. Following the uh, King of Wands, now we have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is basically a, another court card and could be another option that may open up for you guys uh, in the month of February, specifically if you're single. Okay, and this uh, can't go without saying that it could be some sort of workplace uh, involvement or attraction going on here. The Pentacles I always regard as uh, a form of stability, security, and uh, long-term, you know, energy. So it could be what you're aspiring to achieve when it comes to those relationships or you may be already experiencing them now if you are the single gemini out there then this person may come along and i always say when the king or the queen of pentacles shows up in your spread these people are normally um doing very very well for themselves they may be running their own businesses they may be um you know uh into you know career wise handling some sort of money, they're stable, they're secure, they're never coming across as selfish or stingy. They always want to nurture the people that they come in communication with, okay? So that's a good card. Following the Queen of Pentacles here, now we have the Nine of Swords. Now this is your card, your energy. Nine of Swords, you can see the woman standing out there on the ledge, and Nine of Swords is trying to uh, when the Nine of Swords shows up here in your spread, that means it's a form of betrayal, deceit, being lied to. Pay particular attention to the fact that it sits underneath that Seven of Cups for those single Geminis out there who are looking to connect with romance. You have to go by your intuition. You have the Moon and the Seven of Cups here to help you when it comes to being lied to, being cheated on, someone having an affair. Um... Yeah, just feeling like the female here, feeling like you're out on the ledge. This is a card of overthinking. Uh, could be overthinking about a uh, situation or a relationship in particular. Um, reaching for some sort of relief. Uh, could be anything involving um, unresolved inner or external conflict from your recent or your distant past. OK, but you want to work on these energies as much as you possibly can, because you don't want anything to linger around or linger on or forward with the nine of swords, because it just creates more complications for you. Following the nine of swords here for you, um, Gemini here. Now we have the ace of swords. Ace of swords is a form of communication. It's a card that represents gaining some sort of clarity. All right. It also represents victory and success and also seeking some sort of uh, excitement or adventure. So you might want to um, some of you might want to, you know, have that energy when it comes to your relationships, current or future. You are looking for more excitement or adventure when it comes to these relationships. Also, uh, first actions and first moves. Remember the hangman here. I said that, you know, when it comes to decision and actions that, you know, just take your time. You don't have to rush through anything. The final card in your spread here is the Three of Pentacles. Of course, the Three of Pentacles simply means... I'm sorry, I got my coffee in the way. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way. Hmm. Simply means that you could be introduced to somebody new. Hence, it is underneath the Four of Cups, the socializing card. So if you are 
you know, putting your uh, energies out there. Don't turn down any invitations. Jim and I go out because you may be, you know, meeting somebody that may be, you know, a future uh, connection. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about that three of pentacles that you may be introduced to somebody new. And of course, like the queen of pentacles is, again, workplace attraction or, you know, some sort of um, involvement in an affair. <clears throat> Shadow energy here, nine of wands, simply meaning that you just have energy to put yourself out there if you are single to make a connection or if you're in a relationship already, just, you know, having energy to do things together. Nothing big, just having the energy to do whatever it is that you need to do. Following that, we have the emperor, major arcana, you'll be in control no matter what's going on here for you in the month of uh, February, 2024. This here, I always regard, because I don't, you know, read these cards. I choose not to read these cards in the reverse. This is you being in control of your own actions and your own self. If I, you know, chose to um, read the cards in the reverse, and this card showed up here in the reverse for you, th that means that you're trying to manipulate and control, okay? So you're not. So you'll be in control of your own actions. Then we finish off with the Ace of Cups. Oh, my God. So you got the Ace of Cups, and that's... You got all the cards here that represents deep love and emotions. You got the Seven of Cups, the Moon, and now you have the Ace of Cups. Again, it's regarded uh, as expressing yourself, you know, to um, your significant other, or they could be expressing themselves to you. New relationships, of course, can be formed here with the Ace of Cups. The Aces always start things off. You have two Aces, so this is very auspicious energy. Um that you may encounter in the uh, month of February. Also, I can't go without saying that this is still, you know, regarded as pregnancy news and childbirth. All right, so this is what I have for you, Gemini. Looking pretty good here for the month of uh, February. You know, you got a lot of love here. Got a lot of love. Put your energy out there if you're single looking. And for the couples, you know, it just seems like you guys will have a fantastic month expressing yourself and your emotions. Um, getting your needs and um, your wants met. And I don't see any problems with that. All right. So messages of love, Oracle. These can be messages for uh, how you feel towards your person or how your person feels towards you. All right, Jim and I, we're going to start with the first message for you. And we begin... <clears throat> Wait a minute, there's two cards here stuck together. No, they're just thick. Disagreements. This one says, I wish you understood how I feel. Okay. Now that might be linked to the Nine of Swords energy. Disagreements. Also dishonesty. By lying, I ripped us apart. Also Nine of Swords. Whoa. Third card here is unsatisfied. I wasn't happy with the way things were going. I'm not reading the shadow here. i um, just going to move on to the Romance Angel cards and see what they want to add to your reading here. And just remember, Gemini, these are just messages <laughs> and me just interpreting the cards. So take these messages however you want, whatever works for you. But because we have the Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Moon, once again, I feel the... Uh, aspects and then you have the balance card here the temperance to balance all of that energy the emotional stuff that you may be uh, encountering on a good note not a bad note all right so what we have is uh, pay attention to the red flags okay second card is romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring yes Third card is chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here, right? So there we go. All right, so this is what I have for you in the month of February, uh, Gemini 2024. Please give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And just remember, it's me interpreting the cards. Take these messages however you uh, deem fit, okay? But I would appreciate you um, not only giving this video a thumbs up, but sharing the video if you can. Enjoy the month of February. Happy Valentine's Day to all who celebrate Valentine's. Remember to keep smiling for me, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.